الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. The rights of the guest and the rights of your neighbors are something incredibly important in Islam and important to acknowledge and important to honor. To honor and respect your guests and be kind and and respectful with them and serve them as well as your neighbors. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has advised us with this in the Quran in speaking about the rights, uh, the importance of rights, the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rights of His creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمِ وَاعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْهًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا وَبِذُ الْقُرْبَى إِلَى قَوْلُهُ وَجَّارُ ذُو الْقُرْبَى وَجَّارُ الْجُنُبِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an first he begins this ayah by saying وَاعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْهًا and worship Allah this is a fi'l amr this is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is commanding us to worship Him, him alone and not to ascribe partners with Him not to ascribe any partners وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَلَا شَيْءٍ Nothing is associated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any forms of worship regardless of whether that be supplication regardless of whether that be tawaf around the Kaaba but not around tawaf around graves as some people have deviated and are misguided and call people to praying and supplicating to graves no Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ Worship Allah and do not associate partners with Him. So the first right that's mentioned in this verse is the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second right will be الْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and to uh, parents be kind. Give them ihsan. Give them the best treatment. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions to the those who are relatives of her or to, to kinsfolk up until the point in the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, the, the neighbors the neighbors that are close to you meaning that they're relatives of yours and those neighbors which are far meaning that they have no uh, kin, ties of kinship to you all of them have great rights and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned that in that one verse in Surah Al-Nisa and the scholars, they highlight the point that the jar or the, the neighbor uh, has several rights and they have different levels. He says, فَالْجَارْ ذُو الْقُرْبَى So the, the jar or the, the, uh, the neighbor that is quote that has a tie of kinship with you you know is a, that is a relative of yours then this is the relative uh, this is the relative uh, your relative the neighbor who is a relative who has no uh, blood ties to you and the sheikh says he says there are three types of neighbors he says there is the neighbor that has one right over you and this is the neighbor which is a, a pagan, for example. The pagan neighbor has a right over you. So regardless of whether someone is Muslim or non-Muslim, they have a right just being your neighbor. This person has one right over you, the right of being your neighbor, so that you should treat them with kindness. If you invite them to your home, be a good host. Treat them you know, with kindness and show them respect and invite them to khair and the best khair you can invite them to is Islam and the second type of jar the second type of uh, neighbor the neighbor that has two rights and this is the neighbor that is a Muslim so this neighbor is not just your neighbor that, that living in your neighborhood or your next door neighbor or what have you but this person is also a Muslim so this person has the right of Islam over you and they have the right of being the neighbor. And the third uh, 
type of uh, a neighbor. And this person has three rights over you. وَجَارْ لَهُ ثَلَاثَ حُقُوقٍ This neighbor has three rights over you. This is the Muslim neighbor that is a kin that is uh, uh, has kinship with you. This person has three rights. They have the the ties of kinship. They have the fact that they are your neighbor. Those rights, and then they have the right of the Muslim. As the Prophet said, the uh, the 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 Muslim has five rights, and in another narration, six rights over you. That when you sneeze, that you reply. Your uh, the, Allah, the, the, the person sneezes, says Alhamdulillah, and you respond by saying Your Allah, may Allah have mercy upon you. And also that when the person uh, is thirsty, that you, you give him drink. And up until the other rites that are mentioned, in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, so this shows us the importance of being kind to our neighbors, as well as being kind and respectful to our guests. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa taala during this holy month of Ramadan, in which we often have people visiting us and we visit others, that Allah blesses us to be those hosts that are the best of hosts that give our neighbors and give our uh, our guests their rights and treat them with kindness and give them the best of our foods and the best of drink that we have in our possession and the best of treatment to where they feel as if they are honored and respected guests and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us of our sins and bless us during this holy month of Ramadan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad